Hi, in this video I'm going to walk you through the Assets panel. Previously I did a video where I was showing you how I was using it, how you could use it yourself, but in this one we are going to see all the features thoroughly in a different way. So first things first, the Assets panel is by default hidden. So you're going to find it if you go to View, Studio, Assets, and there you go. Here you have your assets panel. So assets, it's this area where you're going to be able to store your design elements in such a way that once created, once stored there, you're going to be able to reuse them time and again. So once you open your assets panel, you can either just leave it somewhere here like that, or you can just drag it here with the rest of panels. It doesn't really matter the way you feel more comfortable. So. The first time you open it, I think uh, by default, you're going to see the iOS 12 uh, assets and you see all these subcategories inside this main category. OK, and so all these elements you can use and reuse time and again in your designs. So, for example, say you are designing your mock up for your beautiful uh, iPhone or whatever. Well, you're going to be able to just pick all these and use them in your uh, designs. As I say, it's super convenient. Uh, for example, um, you have controls, buttons, and hey, not this one because you're not going to see a thing or uh, something like this. I think I create my uh, iPhone mockup way too big because this canvas is massive. But anyways, you get the idea. You can use and reuse all these elements in your designs. So there is the thing that many people get confused with which is what's the difference between assets, the assets panel and the assets contained in itself and symbols. Well, they are different. Uh, in both of them, you're going to be able to store your elements, your objects, but the symbols work in a different way in which you can link all these, call it objects, in such a way that, for example, if this was a symbol and I had 20 of them in my mockup, say a button, say an icon, whatever, and I want to change the, um, the color of it, say, for example, one of the characteristics, you're going to be able to do it in such a way that just by changing one, you're going to be able to change the rest of them, which is very convenient. But with assets, you cannot do that. An asset, it's, uh, say, a standalone element that you're going to be able to reuse. So let's see the assets panel thoroughly. I'm going to put it here in the middle. And as you can see here, we are in this category, which is called iOS 12. And inside this category, we have all these subcategories. So if I open this, I'm going to see different categories here. Some of them came with Affinity Designer. Some of them I created myself. And if I want to create a new category, the only thing I have to do is come up here to the right top corner and say create a new category. I click on it and I have my assets three, which would be the new category. Obviously, that's not a good name. So what we're going to do is rename it. So we call it um, happy elements, just to put a name. So now we have these happy elements and inside I have my first uh, subcategory, let's say. So I also can change the name here and say uh, even happier assets. OK, so inside happy elements, we have even happier <laughs> assets. Now, how is this going to work? Well, easy. I create my super happy element. Let's just put a happy color. I'm happy today or something. I don't know. <laughs> and once this is created, the only thing I have to do is drag in it. Now you can see to the right of the panel, you can see this uh, blue vertical line and I just let go from my mouse and I have my first happy, even happier element inside this subcategory for the PC users. I know because this is in a Mac and I just can go wherever in the panel like this here, down, up to the left. But I know for a PC, you cannot do that. So if you're using Windows, what you have to do is go to the menu on the top right for each category or subcategory and click on add from selection. Obviously, make sure you have your <laughs> asset selected, your object the one you're going to turn into an asset. Now, as you can see in here, we have the name ellipse, which is the default. And now we can just right click on our mouse and say either rename. I call it ha ha ha. 
Or we can just say, okay, this one is duplicated. It's a different asset, but it's duplicated. I already have it here and I can delete it. Like so, always right clicking over it, have these options. So now we keep going with the options here. Well, export and import, it's quite self-explanatory. If I export them, I'm gonna say la, 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 whatever the name. And now, well, we are in happy elements. What I'm going to do, it's import what I just exported. It would be this first AF assets document. I open it. And now you see it says happy elements one because we have the previous category, which is this one, and the second one, which is happy elements one, which I first exported and then imported. Now, this is very interesting, which is embed in current document. What this is going to allow you to do is having the possibility of accessing these assets in a different computer, which is super convenient, or in a new document if you first um, deleted these uh, assets. So let's click on it. Bang. Now you can see it's checked. Okay. So this assets um, category is embedded in the document. Now I go to a different computer and I can open this document and the assets will be there. Now let's keep on working with the list in here and show us list. So I think this comes uh, by default. It comes like, um, not checked, I think, but as you can see, well, I don't have a name here. It's a bit bigger. Show us list. You can see the, the name of them, which I prefer. So I always have it checked. Now, another very interesting thing to know is that just imagine I have different assets here. Let's change the colors. So we see it better. So I have these elements and I could just store them as uh, standalone assets, as we have seen. Or I can just take the three of them, command G to group them. And now I put them here as a single asset, which is fantastic. So that's important to know too. Very, very handy. And basically, well, we've seen it all. I mean, it's not very difficult. It's just assets, category, subcategories, delete, import, export, import embedded, things like that. And very important also to not mix the concepts with symbols. They are different concepts. They are used differently. As I said, symbols are linked and you can just change one symbol and go throughout the whole mockup. Super convenient. But these are more like libraries for your object objects that you can use one time and again. If you want to see a video where I use them in a way that is more creative, just go to my channel and look for this video called like this and oop, go like this. <laughs> and you're going to see how I um, out of different pieces, I started with this spaceship and I created this one, which means that my work was much less. And that's one of the things that assets allow. Come on, speed up your, your workflow. So yeah, some people like this video. Some people just complained about like this recently, this guy, and this is why I'm doing this video now, because he said, uh, well, you are not really talking about the assets panel. You're just, you know, doing a spaceship. That's why I did this video now. So like this video, please like it, comment, do whatever you want, but react to it because it will help more people to access it. And that's all about it. I send you a kiss and see you very soon. Mwah.